Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve practice exercise 3.6 from Morris and Manu book. And the question is simplify the Boolean function of f, w, x, y, and z is sigma min term of 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 11. But before that, let's see that if we have the table of the conversion between decimal and 4-bit binary because we have four variables here okay so we have this is a decimal representation and this is 4-bit binary representation this will be useful in the k-man okay now let's say let's see what can we do here first we draw the k-map we write it wx here as the rows and the yz as the column. Okay, now let's label the columns and rows. And we will have wx as 0, 0, 0, 1. And be careful here, this is 1, 1. And the next one is 1, 0, not 1, 0 and 1, 1. Not like that. Okay, and for yz, we will have 0, 0, 0, 1. And similarly, be careful here, this is 1, 1. And here is 1, 0. Okay, now let's see what mean term that we have that we need to fill 1 in this table here. Okay, we will have 0 here. 0 is 0, 0, 0, 0. So we'll have 0, 0, 0, 0. So this, this cell here is one okay and the next mean term is two two is zero zero one zero so we need to fill it here one i mean zero zero one zero so this is for the mean term of two okay now similarly we will have four what is four four is zero one zero zero so we will have zero one zero zero let's fill it here okay and then the next one will be six what is six six is zero one one zero zero one and one zero that will be six here okay for the next one we will have eight what is eight eight is one zero 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 one zero 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 so let's fill it here this is for eight and then 10 what is 10 10 is 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 so we fill 10 here and then lastly we will have 11 here what is 11 11 is 1 0 1 1 1 0 and then 1 1 this is for 11 here okay what else can we do here we fill the rest of it with zero okay i think we are good here maybe let's move it a bit up to get some space to write the f behind below that okay what can we do from here I think we need to start circling the one here. Okay, I see that we can circle it like this. This is one one and this is one one there. Okay, I think that is good. Then what else? What else here? This one here, one and one. Can I cover another one? I think not. Okay. And then for this one, I think I will need to cover it with that one there. Okay. So maybe let's start with the four one here, the yellow one. This one and that one, right? Okay. Let's see what we have differently here. Okay. W we have the same here so this yellow one definitely depends on W but 
here we have the w as 0 0 so we will have w prime okay but then the x is different so we does not need the yellow to depends on x and then the y the y is different also so we will have this one here and this one here so it does not depends on y okay but the z we will have this one and this one so we will have z prime there we have z prime there why because the z is zero here okay what else can we do okay maybe let's color this green here maybe let's start from this one and this one let's see what's the different here we will have zero here but one here so it does not depends on y but it's definitely depends on x because this is zero and zero so we will have x but because the x is zero we put prime in it and then for the y and z it is definitely the same so we'll have the y is in zero and the z is zero so we will have y prime and z prime okay, so we'll have y prime and z prime okay that is for this green one maybe let's use the pink one here we'll have this circle here let's see what we have the w and x definitely the same so we will have w so we'll have w and x prime w and x prime and then what else that we got we will have the y is the same one and one but the z is different so it depends on y but not depends on z but y is one here so we don't need to put not there so we will have y here and i think this is the final answer that we are looking for so f is equal to this one and i think there is one typo in the answer given by the book this should be x prime y prime and z prime okay i think that is all for this problem hopefully this will help you learn about digital system see you in the next video bye bye